everybody, welcome back. I've got a haul video and we have Miss Emerson here. She's already in her Easter dress. So I thought I'd have her here. She's the last one I changed. And we're going to do a little haul video. <clears throat> so let me come down. Hi, how y'all doing? We're doing pretty good. Got some little chit chat and haul video. So. This last week, let's see, we went to uh, Walmart, we went to my thrift store, we went to Family Dollar. I got a package in the mail from Poshmark. And yeah, so let's um, show you Poshmark first so I can sit down in my seat. And I wanted to get a new, let's move the box, um, baby carrier. And this is a Ergo Baby carrier. And it has the infant insert right here. And so I've already tried it on. I looked up videos because it has a lot of these things and these things and all kinds of things to see how to set it up. So I looked it up and all that, but I wanted something for the babies that I could use you know, something different than the one that I have. With the one I have is good, but this one is more infant style. So I picked up this, I, I mean, it's it's used, you know, as we buy things that are used. And it's really cute, it's in good condition. And it doesn't look like they used it a whole lot, actually. So it's way cute. And I looked up online, this one is about, oh, I don't know. The video I looked at was like four years ago, five years ago, something like that. So it's an older model, but it's way cute, you know. So I did grab this. I had sold some stuff and had some money in my account. So I said, what can I get that I'd like to have for the nursery? So I bought this. This was like 10 bucks, I think. And it has some staining on here, but that's... You know, that's no big deal. But I thought it would be cute to go for a walk. We'll do an outing and stuff. It's a little chilly right now. And you can change this, you know, to make it over the baby more or whatever. So I wanted gray so I could use it for either or. So we're going to have to find a spot to hang this up. I'll probably just put it in one of the, um, one of the strollers over here. But we're going to plan an outing <clears throat> so that we can, it's been chilly. I mean, it's like winter again. It's crazy here. So I'm going to do an outing, I think. I'm trying to decide if I want to do one baby or if I want to do, I think I might want to do the, you know, my car seat stroller. You know, I can't remember what it's called, but you have both car seats in it. So that way I can take two babies. So I'm thinking about doing an outing. What's not really an outing. We're going for a walk because you don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, I don't have any place to take them other than to the park or, you know, which we could do, you know, and we'll probably do that too. I'm going to try to do a couple more outings, a couple more routine things. I'm trying to work that out now. I had some health things happen that I'm not happy about. And we're going to chit chat while we're doing this. <coughs> Still have a little cough. I went to the doctor because hubby was concerned. And they did an x-ray, a uh, chest x-ray. And I found out that I have arthritis in my spine. Woohoo. I mean, I've been having problems with my back, like my side, it hurts, you know. And that's sciatic pain. And I've had that since um, Asia's birth but it's acting up. I've had problems for the past year. So I went to therapy yesterday and they did some stuff to it, showed me some exercises to do. So we're gonna try that out for a while. And then if I need to, I can go back, you know, whatever. I'd rather, if I can do it at home, I'd rather do stuff at home. But the cough thing that's been going on, um, my lungs showed, I can't remember the terminology, but it's like after you have surgery and there's stuff in your lungs and you have to get it out, you know, it's like that. 
I haven't heard back from the doctor yet if I have to do anything different or anything like that, but allergies is not helping. So we have a cat and we have bear. He's thinking, the doctor's thinking possibly the cat is causing some problems. So Ariel's not happy because we're probably gonna have to get rid of the cat. And it would be good for her too, because I know she has allergies, but I'm not gonna get rid of my bear. I mean, we will keep him and I will, you know, do what I have to do to feel better with that <coughs> and until he passes away. Now those bulldogs usually live about 10 years or so, and he's already seven. So, you know, if I've been doing, um, the doctor wanted me to do allergy pills, Zyrtec, or whatever it is. I am, anxiety is way high. I don't like to take pills. I don't like to do medicine. I don't like to do any of that. So I've been, I have some allergy medicine that's liquid form. So I've been doing that and I still have the cough, but it's not as frequent. We'll see how it goes. I'm supposed to go back in two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. But I already have arthritis in my fingers. That's what the pain was right here that I was doing. So yeah, we're having some fun. <laughs> um menopause to arthritis in your hands to arthritis in my back I mean my back doesn't hurt that's why I was surprised I'm like what it's my lower back and my sciatic nerve so I'm gonna end up having to get special shoes and yeah I'm just not happy <laughs> I'm not a happy camper so I want to do well go on to the hall now <clears throat> I want to do a, I think they're so fun. I watch them all the time. They're so fun. A gender reveal with the boxes. You know, they open it up and you figure out what it is. Well, I bought some stuff that I'm going to decorate a box and everything. And I'm going to make it generic so I can use it and use it again when I want to do that again for a video. So I'm going with yellow. So this paper... I figured I'd wrap the box in this, and it's, it's so cute. It has it has the words, you know, it has goo, rattle, binky, blanky, baby, goo goo, diapers, baby feet, little feet, rattle, you know, and it's pink and blue and white and yellow. So I grabbed this that I can use for that. And then I grabbed a bag that I'm gonna tear apart. <laughs> I'm going to fussy cut around this sparkly baby. I'm gonna cut around here, or cut a thing around here. But up here, you can't see it. See, it says, hello, baby. You can barely see that. I don't know why they didn't color that in. That's weird, because on the other side, it's white. It says, hello, baby. So I'm gonna cut this out, use some of these little about to decorate the box with. Now, my family dollar, we have two floral places here in town you can get balloons at <clears throat> and everything. And I wanted to get helium balloons. I'm not ready for that yet, but um, my family dollar doesn't blow up regular party balloons. They do the um, shiny ones. So if I want balloons blown up if I want to get some balloons to blow up and to pop out but I'm thinking okay I can do it upside down and open it that way and they fall out that way so I picked out I'm trying to save money this was a dollar so I got blue balloons in here and I got green I've got I've already got pink white is yellow I've got pink balloons already somewhere over here and so I picked up a bottle of yeah, there's pink in here too. So there's pink, blue, the different colors. So if I wanted to do, you know, I want to do a gender reveal. So I did grab those. So I just got to decorate the box and then I can plan on, you know, the next baby if I keep it, you know. You know, if they do a, you know, a pregnancy announcement and then they do the gender reveal and then they do a baby shower. You know, sometimes they do the baby shower and gender reveal at the same time. You know, because you'll have everybody there, you know. So that's one of my 
upcoming projects that I want to do. Okay, so that's, I don't know if you want to see that in process or not. You can let me know down below if you want that, to see that. And I'm hoping by the time you see this, I've, I've already done the winner for 1300 and I was waiting for it to get above 10, you know, 1310, you know, and we're up 1335. So I'm a little late, guys. I'm sorry. That's coming. It is coming if you haven't already seen it. So, okay, so Walmart. Okay. They didn't have... Uh, I'm just not into some of the stuff they have there right now. I don't really... Nothing's appealing to me other than the giraffe stuff. And last time I went, they didn't have the size I needed for any of it. So I didn't get anything. They still don't have the little giraffe slippers, but I did find them on Poshmark. I don't know if I want to get them or not. Well, I haven't decided yet. So, I ended up getting the little socks and the newborn. So these will fit, you know, all my babies are either newborn size. I got Gracie is little, 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 you know. And then I buy her stuff online. So that's the only place you can find the mini. But I've got Tegan and Emmy as preemies, okay? And then the other babies, um, Grayson and her can wear a newborn or a zero to three months. Charlotte can do the same. All the other babies can pretty much do the same, except for the twins here, the twin girls, Bella and Ella Raya. They can wear zero to three months. And so newborn socks fits all these babies, except for Minnie over here. She does not. So there's six in here of the yellow. It's like a mustardy yellow, but these are way cute. I could put all the girls in some similar, you know, thing. So I grabbed the socks, and which is cute on its own. You don't need the slippers, you know. And this is more, I don't know, I think it's more girly than it is boy. I think it's more girl. So, and I grabbed, they had, somebody put out, they had a preemie and they had zero to three months. They didn't have newborn. So I got zero to three months because they can all wear this size and I can wash these. So I got this one, this one, and this one. I love this, this one, it's cute. So I grabbed those and I'm like, these would be cute with the little socks just by themselves and find a gray headband or something. So I was walking around and I found these. Well, these headbands don't stay on these babies very well. So I was gonna take the bows off and make them into a, so I could put them on a headband. I have little um, barrette clips things that I can put in here so I can hook it to an elastic uh, headband. So I can do that. So I gotta take these apart and do that. But it goes with these uniform, you know, it goes with the little outfits. And then I found the pants that go with it. The little pants, I found them in newborn size. So they'll fit any of the babies. <clears throat> so there's two. There's three shirts, but two pants. So one can wear just, you know, cute little whatever, and the other ones can wear their pants. So I grabbed that. So that's the whole set my Walmart had, and they had these on sale. These were on sale for two bucks. And they were probably normally like almost four for the two of them. So I don't know. So I got the set. And I always get these sets and I never show you guys after. I, I'm going to start doing that because I've got sets together. You know, like I just did Tanner's um, teddy bear one. And I have gotten um, a Crayola one for these two guys. And I have gotten a... Um, there's a couple anyway that I have done. Now, <laughs> Zoe's last outfit. There's all the pale pink and white. I wanted to get the bloomers, and Missy help, Missy helped me out with that from, from Kits to Cradles. And so 
we got, we didn't get the bloomers, but we got the pants. So I grabbed a pair of pants. And these are newborn, I think. These will fit her. So I have the pants now, the bloomers, the t-shirts, the hat, and the bow. So I can actually put two babies in this outfit now. So that's cool. So there's another little outfit thing. So, way fun. So I was excited to find that. Now, for, I wanna put this back in that bag. I'll put these away. I got a bunch of clothes and everything I gotta put. I got a pile over there, a pile here. And now I'm gonna start another pile to put away. All right, thrift. Um, let me grab the other thing. Okay. I've been watching some painting tutorials. I think I mentioned that to you guys. It's like, I root these guys. I know how to root. I just don't think I'm doing it correctly, you know? And the mohair that I'm using isn't like top three, not even top five, I don't think. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's still cute and everything, but you have to really condition it and you have to wet it to make it look nice. But I wanted to try my hand at hair painting. Now, when I first started reborning, looking into it, I bought brushes. I bought brushes. I bought these brushes. And they're hair painting brushes. See, they're, they came with the three sizes. So I have these. Before that, when I was just starting, I had my husband, I had some watercolor um, brushes and they're long, the long handled. But I had him cut me, and I think I have one more too, but I had him cut me so it looks like hair. So I have those. And then I have these two. Let me see. How do I do that? Okay. See, they're different. From what I've watched, this looks like one of the brushes that they would use to fill in. Same with this one. And I had these. So I put them with my hair painting brushes. And then I watched <clears throat> Christine Morley's video from like six years ago, I think it was, four years ago, whatever. And she used this pen thing. I'm like, where do you find that? And she ha has the whole kit um, that you could have bought. But it's Ultimate Fusion, I think. <clears throat> well, Dolls by Sandy has the whole thing. I just want the one book. It's $75, I think, $65 plus shipping. So seven bucks. So it's gonna cost me 70 something dollars for the book. I do want that book. But I do have some other tutorials that I've been watching. And she was using these water brushes. I guess that's what they are. Well, she used a really small one. So I found some on Amazon. I'm not quite sure how they work, but I imagine you put water in this and all that, but there's three different sizes. And there's this one, the big fat one. So let me know if you paint hair, if you paint hair and can help a girl out here. And I mean, I've been watching and I pretty much, if I can, watch it I can kind of figure it out how to <coughs> how to do it and I've seen um, some of them are Genesis heat set so you just look at the the colors that they're using it looks like they have burnt umber black a tan color I don't know what color that tan color is they have like four or five different color browns or whatever and I have a ton over here so I could just get to figure it out and so I need a test head. I'm not gonna use one of my kits that I got and spent 30 to 40 bucks on to ruin. So when I went to the thrift store, it's like, let's go into the dolls and see what I can find. You don't want a hard head. You want kind of soft vinylish kind of head. So I haven't washed her yet. She is Toy City, this is 2012. I don't know what she is, but the head 
feels like the vinyl, even though this is hard, harder, it feels the same kind of, you know what I mean? Same kind of, she's filthy dirty. So I'm going to take this apart. I am going to cut this off, use the head, because it's the right size. And I'm going to clean this all off, and I'm going to use this as a practice head, because it's the same size. So, and then I have limbs, I mean, the little girl that had this painted it, painted, isn't that cute? Look, painted it, <laughs> and that's so sweet, I think that's cute. So I'm going to take her head off and clean her up. I don't want it, I don't need to keep the body or the arms or the, because these are the quarter, you can get the bodies, like Bonifal Baby or whatever, to make one of these, um, like cut, cuddle body kind of things. So I'll keep the limbs and stuff and I'll put them away. But um, I am going to um, take the head off and clean this up. Because it's just for painting. Even though there's like indented lines right here, that's fine. You know, I just want to see if I can figure it out kind of thing. So I did get me a doll to play around with, so I don't have to buy, this one cost me a buck. You know, I'd rather spend a dollar than a test head is like 15 to 25 bucks, something like that. It's like, eh, I'll use that, it'll work. And then I was going around just seeing what they had. I wasn't really shopping, shopping. Ariel was with me and she hadn't been in a while, so she wanted to go there. And she ended up finding a bat, a glove, and, what else did she get there? Maybe that's all she got there. She was looking for because she wants she wants to do softball, but she kind of wants to like practice first. So she's been into doing that, and I didn't want to spend buku bucks on a glove and all that. So she found the glove that fit, and she found a bat, like a metal bat. So she's been out here. Her dad got her a ball that you put on <clears throat> a pole. It kind of looks like the old fashioned, you know, you hit the ball. On the rope, on a um, tether ball, kind of looks like that. But there's two, and the ball's in the middle. It's connected, so she can hit it, and it, you don't lose the ball. So that's what she got. But I was just going through. It's like, okay, I'll look at the t-shirts and just see. Um, these were a buck, and if they're brand new, I'll buy them. Zero to three months. I always use t-shirts for babies going home and stuff. So I found that one. I mean, I gotta wash it. You know, I'll. I'll start a washing bin. And then this one is long sleeve, <clears throat> child of mine. And this one was a buck too. I don't think you buy anything for 50 cents anymore. I'll, oh, I do have some. This is newborn size. So all these t-shirts and these are good, you know. So when I do babies and they go home, I can put them in one to go home with. <clears throat> and last time I was there, I told you I had gotten some of these passies. Well, I missed some, obviously. There were two more in there. And these are newborn size. Yep. And they're ugly orange. But they're in the package. They're brand new. And I these are jelly pops. I'll put that down. It sticks to the thing. Anyway, I've got two of these. So I can put these in my box. So they can go home. You know, they're brand new. So they can go home with somebody and then I was looking at I always look at the shoes these are still got the tags on them these are Carter's newborn size and these are for Tanner look they got anchors on them when we go shopping uh, let's go shopping when we go to the lake so cute he's got sandals this year and these were a buck so I I grabbed I had to have these so these were a dollar, so I grabbed these for, for Tan Man, so I got those. And then I went through the bottles. <clears throat> Misty, if you're watching my, if you're watching this video, you're going to freak out. <laughs> Guess what I found? Two. They were a buck. And they're the teddy bear ones. And they still have the um, nipples on them. And I grabbed them because... For some reason, people in different areas can't find these anywhere. Well, I found two, so I grabbed them. And I have one or two. I've got a bunch of these mams. And um, 
like the giraffes uh, outfits. I think I have one with a giraffe on it. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> yeah, they're pink. It's, it's the girly ones, but they're not yellow. They're pink. So I grab these. So I got two of those. And then I grabbed, I'm like, somebody must have been cleaning out their baby stuff. I found not one, two, three Tommy Tippies. And they have the stuff inside them. I'm not sure how they go together. We'll figure it out. But these can go home with babies. This, These ones are five ounces and this one is nine ounces. So I have two of them. So those are cute. So I got these that they can go home with somebody. I like the Tommy Tippy bottles. I really liked them. But with Ariel, we used Dr. Brown because she had such um, reflux that I couldn't use any other kind of bottle, at least at that time. This was 13 years ago. I don't think they had these kind of bottles other than Dr. Brown's, you know, and now they do. So here's a Tommy Tippy. I probably would have grabbed one of these, actually. I used Playtex um, bag bottles, and I used the um, Dr. Brown's bottles for her because she had bad reflux. So there is my haul and my little help update. So <clears throat> that's probably why I'm hurting all the time and everything. I've got, I didn't know I had arthritis in my spine though. That was kind of alarming a little bit. <laughs> but the way it seemed like the pain I was having wasn't like in my spine, it's on my side. You know, so it's kind of, it threw me. So I'm still waiting. I got to call the doctor's office and see if I have to do a follow-up appointment to that. So if so, then I'll make a follow-up and go in and meet with them, see what the deal is. But I guess I'm not, for somebody that has anxiety about medicines and health stuff in general, this is bad. <laughs> it's it's bad for me. You know, I'm not handling very well. And my son called. His wife, he said he can't go into details, but, so I don't know exactly, but his wife had to go in and have a procedure done. And... He just told me that everything went okay, but um, Monday, Monday is the 18th, she goes in and has another biopsy done. Um, I took everything kind of hard, you know, because he, he can't tell me. He doesn't feel like it's his place to tell me, and that's fine, you know. They're dealing with things the way they want. So just on what he's telling me it sounds like some kind of cancer I don't know I don't know but he's been not going to work yeah he owns his own business so he's been staying home with her which he, he should you know to take care of her so yeah if send out a prayer circle for her and me I mean, she's definitely way, don't worry about me, you know, let's take care of her first, you know. And hopefully everything will be okay. I'm sure it will. The technology nowadays is amazing. And she will be okay. But she, you know, she has to tell her family when she's ready. And once they do that, you know, my son said, Mom, you're third on the list. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, whatever. Just tell her I'm thinking about her and she, you know. We're praying for her and that, you know, we're hoping everything's going to be okay. And I'm sure it will be. And it's in God's hands. You know, the higher being or whatever, how you believe, you know. And hopefully she'll be okay. I know I'll be okay. I'm just going to end up probably living on like Tylenol or Advil or 
something like that when my hand my hand um, acts up or if my back acts up I'm just gonna have to be careful what I do what I'm doing what I'm going to do whatever I'm gonna have to be careful so anyway that's an update a haul so we're having way fun over here so I will see you all soon all right bye now